Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Um, back with another lesson. I'll title this one um, The God of Israel is not an idol. The God of Israel is not an idol. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yimla Abanawa Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Um, and you know, uh, back with another lesson, and, and as the title reads, man, uh, the God of Israel is not a—he's not an idol. And uh, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, um, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the God of Israel, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the the Prince of Peace, the Holy Mashiach, the Savior, the Deliverer. You see. Um, he is on his way back in his second return. Um, and and um, he is the creator of heaven and earth. The only one to beat death. And, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, for so long, uh, idol worship, man. Um, you know, amongst our people, the tribes, man. Going, even going, you know, going back to our forefathers, you, you know, King Solomon committed idolatry. And right along with a good majority of our kings committed idolatry, man. And the the, the first commandment is, uh, thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's the first commandment. And still to this day, uh, a good majority of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians... The tribes, man, a good majority of our people are heavy into idolatry. Let me go here. Let me go here. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to make this too long. Just a quick hit, something that's on my spirit. Call Halal Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Leviticus. Let's go to the law. Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19. And four, and it reads, it says, it says, turn ye, turn ye not unto idols. See, turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am the Lord, your power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. See, so the Lord said, uh, turn ye not unto idols, nor to make yourselves molten gods, man. And, uh, you know, today, uh, uh, you know, the heathen are, are uh, the other nations are, they're celebrating uh, Passover or Easter. Easter, when Passover was last week, but the heathen um, have set it up and, um, and polluting the holy days. And it's not for them because the Lord is only dealing with uh, his people, which are the so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native American Indians. This is who the uh, who the world uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. You know Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is who the Lord died for. His people, the tribes. The Lord said, "I pray for them, and not for the world." See, and ultimately, uh, uh, it's for the elect, because in this end, the Lord is coming back to to uh, deliver His elect. Starting with the 144,000, the, the men, the prophets, the teachers out of his out of his people, and on down to that small remnant, the, the believers out of his people. This is who the Lord is coming back to uh, deliver out of this uh, time of trouble and danger. He said, I pray for them and not for the world. But a good majority of our people, you know, uh, uh, they indulge in these paganistic uh, 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 days and uh, they're all in the idolatry, the, the Christmas, the, the Easter, the Easter with this uh, the, the bunny rabbit. You know that's not that's not in the scripture. And the Lord tell you too, uh, uh, um, if He doesn't speak unto uh, what the scripture is saying, roughly paraphrasing it, there is no light in Him. 
and the pe the Easter bunny and you know uh, uh, Easter egg hunts. You know, you know uh, Passover is is a, a a solemn assembly. The Lord got murdered on that day. I don't think they were doing Easter egg hunts and uh, uh, you know these uh, uh, festivities and concerts and stuff. They weren't doing that, man. This is the high, you know, Passover is the highest holy day, uh, you know, amongst the Lord's people, man. That's a very serious day. But, the, you know, the, 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 the heathen, the, the nations, you know, have polluted it and it's not for them. And then we have two thirds of our people, they indulge into it. And they're going to they're going, they're going to be punished for that, man. Let me go here. Uh, they're going to be punished for that. That's, that, that's part of the commandments, man. But our people, a good majority of our people, they reject the, these law, statutes, and commandments. And so there's going to be a price to pay for that in the end here. Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah 10. Um, Jeremiah 10 and 10. I'm not going to read this whole chapter, just a quick hit. Just get the meat off the bones. I'm going to kind of jump around. Jeremiah 10 and 10 and it reads it says but the Lord is a true God see but the Lord Yahweh Baha Shem Shai is the true God he is the living God see the creator of heaven and earth see this is our power Jake the only one to beat death the, the, the king of kings the lord of lords Yahweh Baha Shem Shai the creator of heaven and earth of all things man but the lord is the true god he is the he is the living power an everlasting king at his wrath the earth the earth shall tremble and the nations shall not be able to abide see the all you nations the nations shall not be able to abide his indignation and the lord is uh, furious he's angry uh, with the nations man Starting with Esau, Edom, the uh, so-called white folks. The Lord said, when he come back, he's not going to meet you as a man. You see? It says, um, 11, it says, Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. You know, uh, all, the, all these big giant statues they got around the world, uh, they, even down there in Brazil, you know, uh, that big giant statue and, uh, of uh, Caesar Bogier, uh, uh the big Hindu statues, the, the uh, Buddhism statues over there in China and all across the world. Uh, the Lord is coming to put all these false gods and, and, and idols down they it ain't gonna, they're they're never gonna be uh um they won't be remembered man the lord is coming back to destroy all of that he's coming back to set up his kingdom right here on earth right there in jerusalem you see and he's coming to restore his people the tribes man back into the uh, uh on top in the holy land and we're gonna have dominion and rulership forever it ain't gonna be no more uh uh uh, Islam. It ain't gonna be no more Islam. These are the last days of that. It ain't gonna be no more uh, uh, Christianity and Catholic and you know Scientology and Egyptology and Kemet and Hindu and Buddhism and Ja. All, all of these. It ain't gonna be none of that, man. It ain't gonna be none of that. It's gonna be uh, uh, the God of Israel, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. These law, statutes, and commandments. You're gonna have to follow it out of this Bible. And if you other nations don't get down with it, then you're gonna get punished. Because you nations that enslaved and uh, uh, and oppressed the Lord's people, you're you're going into captivity. The Lord told you, he that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. And this is what's coming. And all your uh, false religion and idol worship and your paganistic days, they're going to be they're going to be gone. They're going to be thrown out the window forever. You going to follow these high holy days. See? You're going to get in order and you're going to serve the God of Israel. You're going to serve the Israelites, handmaids and servants forever. 
14. It says, every man is brutish. Every man is brutish in his, in, in his knowledge. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. And we know Esau, Edom, uh, he believes in science and technology. It's foolishness, man. It's foolishness. He really thinks that this is the way he's going to uh, um, be able to, uh, you know, keep his, uh, you know, his presence going. And right along with these other nations on what they think that they're going to establish with this new world order and, you know, uh, uh, and so on and so on. It's all foolishness, man. It says every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. It says for his molten image is falsehood and there is no breath in them. All your uh, false gods and your idols, they have no breath in them. It says 15. It says they are vanity. And this is what, you know, a good majority of our people, they want to do. They, you know, uh, it's all about partying and uh, vanity and pleasuring and, you know. Um, but this is what it is. The Lord said they are vanity in the work of errors. In the time of, of their visitation, they shall perish. The Lord said, you're, you're, you know, the Halloween, the Christmas, the Easter's. You know, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, you know, uh, 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 4th of July. All your days are ridiculous. They're stupid. They're foolish. They're ridiculous. Foolishness. Vanity. I'll close out with this. So the Lord, uh, uh, there's judgment coming. I'll close out with these last few. There's judgment coming. There's judgment coming. There's some heavy judgment coming. Uh, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy 32 and 22. I'll close out with these. It says, you know, because like I said, Jake, uh, uh, all these lessons is going out. The Lord said, I sent to you all my prophets. The Lord said, I sent to you all my prophets. And, and, and here it is. Tell, his men is telling you about the holy days and uh, the word, and they and they still they they don't they don't they, they just Jake two thirds of our people don't want to do it. So all hell is about to break loose. All hell is about to is about to break loose. Twenty uh, Deuteronomy thirty two and twenty two it says. For a fire is kindled in mine anger. The Lord is pissed off, man. He said, when I come back, I will not meet thee as a man. For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn. He's going to use fire in this end time for judgment. And shall burn the lowest hell. And hell is a condition. It isn't a place where you go burn forever. It says, shall burn unto the lowest hell. And shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. 23. I will heap mischief upon them. I will spend mine arrows upon them. The Lord goes to those those uh, ICBM missiles. Those are the uh, weapons of the Lord's indignation. Those ICBM missiles are coming. I will heap mischief upon them. I will spin mine arrows upon them. 24. They shall be burnt. Hmm? You want to you keep indulging into these uh, uh, paganistic days and all, all your idol worship, Jake? The Lord said, They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat. It says, And with bitter and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them. With the poisonous of serpents of the dust. 25. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both. Both the young man and the virgin, the suckling, also with the man of gray hairs. A lot of uh, uh, Jake's men that, that, you know, sending your kids through the fire, dressing them up for Halloween. Uh, 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 they're going on these Easter egg hunts, 
you know, uh, indulging into Christmas and all this, all these paganistic days and idol worship. The, a lot of you are going to, you're going to watch your kids suffer, man, in this end. Because you didn't listen. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin. The suckling. You got a little two, two month old child, four month old child. And then in these days of Jacob's trouble, whoo, boy. The Lord gonna he gonna let you have it. He gonna let he gonna let you have it, man. Cause you've been warned. That two that two that two month old baby suffer, man. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin and the suckling. Also with the man of gray hairs, the elder. Twenty six. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from from among men. And this and this is what's been happening. Idolatry, you know, going in the ways of the, of, of the heathen. And this is it's then cost us, man. So uh, uh, the Lord has a remnant, an elect that he's dealing with in this end time here. That he's coming back to deliver, he's going to protect and make a way. But two-thirds of his people, you're going to face this judgment, man. Because you didn't listen. Shalom.